to one and all. So today's video is for class 10. This video is for class 10 genetics. Yesterday we have started the chapter genetics and today we will go to some of the main points of genetics. Now firstly we will go through the basic concept of genetics before going to the main technical part of the genetics first we must learn what is a gene dominant gene recessive gene allele and few more things now so first of all what's the gene gene is the short length of dna gene is the short length of the dna means dna is the full long part let's say this is just the structure of the dna it is the full length part one short length of it's known as the gene short length but though it is short, but its function is very much major because the gene itself codes for various protein. It is coding for various protein. And that protein through the characters is expressed in our body. Now, let's say, for example, we are talking about that I am looking fair or a particular person is looking darkish complexion. complexion. Fair complexion or darkish complexion. This is because of the gene. If the gene is coding for the protein fair, the person will look fair. If at all it is coding for darkish, the person will look for darkish. Now, the thing is that we need to understand which gene will be dominant over the other. Now, the basic criteria how we are denoting a gene, how we are denoting it, we are denoting a gene by letters like capital T, capital T, capital A, capital A small a small a capital a small a capital d small d like this we can denote the gene for the better explanation now this capital writing capital and small is having various reasons why we are writing it capital or small so first of all i think you might have understood what is gene it is coding for the protein the shortest length of the dna or short length of dna which is coding for the protein and it is developing various characters in our body like the hair will be curly or straight, the eyes will be brownish or bluish, the color will be fair or dark, but that several characters are being expressed by this gene. Now, when we are talking about gene, there are two types of gene, dominant gene and recessive gene. Dominant genes is the gene which is expressing itself. The recessive gene are the gene which cannot express itself. Dominant genes are always written in the capital letters, capital A, capital A, capital T, capital T, like that, no, like just now I have mentioned here, capital T, capital T, capital A, capital A, these all are the dominant genes, means they will express itself. Recessive genes are the genes, they cannot express itself. For example, if I am writing capital A, small a, then here, which gene is recessive? Small a will be recessive. Which gene will be dominant? Capital A will be dominant. So this is capital dominant and this is recessive. Dominant must be written with capital letter and recessive must be written with small letter. Now, one question, one simple question. That can the recessive gene express itself? The answer is, of course, many one of us, many of, many of us will say no, but I will say yes. The recessive gene can only express itself when both the gene will be recessive in this condition. In this condition, small a, small a. Both the genes are recessive, so there is no any gene which can dominate over the other. So very nicely it can express itself that time. But when we are talking about gene having both dominant and recessive, that time only the dominant will express itself. The recessive can't express itself. And as in my previous video of yesterday's, I have said earlier that it doesn't mean that if the one gene is dominant in one generation, in the forthcoming generation also the same gene will be dominant. Never. In the next generation it may happen, the recessive will become dominant, dominant will become recessive. That is what the genetics, that is what the science of heredity and variation. I guess it's clear to you. Now, <clears throat> next is the allele. Here I have written few points on allele. I have written here, I have made one diagram and I have written capital A, small a. Now, to define allele, what are allele? Allele are the variety, variety of a gene present in the same point of an homologous chromosome. What is homologous chromosome? 
chromosome sharing same shape and size these two chromosomes shares same shape and size and capital a and small a means the variety of the allele so what i have said the different version of a gene present in the homologous chromosome is called as allele the different version of the gene means these are homologous chromosome having sharing same shape and same size and this is one allele and this is one allele it means that the same it is responding to the same gene same character but in two different way for example this two character uh, this two sorry this two alleles are responding for the character fair means capital a is also showing the fairness and small a is also showing the fairness that is in a both way in a two way in a two way means variety of genes we can say here the different version of a gene the different version of a gene present in the homologous chromosome at the same point on the chromosome means it is a homologous chromosome sharing same shape and size in the same place the alleles are located and responding to the same character let's say capital a and small a is for my curly hair what happens here in the capital a is also responding for my uh, character curly hair and small a is also responding for my character curly hair but in a two different way because they both are different from each other but since they are in the same position of the homologous chromosome so they are always giving or responding towards a simple and a single character they are not going for a complex character or a dual character i guess it's clear next one i have i wrote it again this is the first example and this one is the second example in the second example also homologous chromosome alleles are present at the same point on the homologous chromosome and here also this variety of allele this uh, variant allele will respond for the same character but in a two different way not in a single way since there are two alleles so two different way it will respond for the similar or a single character there will be no double or a complex character means they are locating in the same point of the homologous chromosome though they are two but they are responding for a similar or a same or a single character i guess it's clear to you so this is what about dominant gene expressing itself written in capital recessive gene not not expressing itself written in small always written in small this is recessive this both they both are dominant and then the alleles occupying the same position in the homologous chromosome and responding for a single character simple the character single character not complex or dual character but in a two different way so this is what the definition and the basic of the genetics now next one is what we will learn is f1 generation f1 generation before going to f1 generation let's have a brief discussion on phenotype and genotype phenotype means the physically observable characters by looking towards a person or by looking towards a any living thing what we can observe let's say a person with 5 feet 8 height having curly hair so we can say the person is tall having a curly hair that is the physical physically observable character is the phenotype how we can define a person physically that is physically observable characters that is phenotype genotype means the genetical constituent of a particular organism how the genes are arranged inside the organism that is what the genotype now here comes a twist the genotype regulates the phenotype and phenotype is having no interference with the genotype i repeat genotype regulates the phenotype whereas the phenotype is having no interference with the genotype there will be no interference of the phenotype in the genotype but genotype is having all the rights to control the phenotype how and why because genotype is the constituents of gene present in the body and whatsoever the constituents of the gene present in the body according to that only the person must look the person must appear that is the reason why it is said the genotype is having a full control over the phenotype but phenotype is having no interference with the genotype so i guess it's clear now f1 generation filial 1 f i l l i a l filial 1 f 
I double L I A L filial one generation. Filial one generation means the cross between two parents. Let's say the cross between two parents. One is tall and another one is dwarf. Capital T, capital T, small t, small t. About cross, we will discuss later. First, this basic definition needs to be clear. First, F1 generation, filial one, capital T, capital T, small t, small t. Means one tall parent and one dwarf. In bio, we are not using the term short, especially in genetics. We are using the term dwarf. D W A R F. But tall is tall on B always. T A double L dot. So capital T, capital T, and small t, small t. This is the F1 generation. And when we are talking about F2 generation, that is filial 2 generation. Here, two parents were crossed. And when these two parents will be crossed and the progeny, whatever will be available, means the young one, the offspring, the young one or the offspring or the progeny, whatever will be available from the F1 generation, cross between the progenies of the F1 generation is F2 generation, filial 2 generation. So we can write it here, F2 generation, that is filial 2, filial 2 generation, means Filial 1 generation means cross between two parents. And filial 2 generation means cross between the progenies obtained from filial 1 generation. Filial 1 generation cross between two parents. Filial 2 generation cross between the progenies obtained from filial 1 generation. This is what about the genetics for today. So kindly go through the video properly and kindly try to understand that whatever the terms today explained to you match it with your text properly. Next class again the next video will be uploaded. We will see towards mutation and we will move forward.